where on earth do you begin to tell this story? Berwick, in their 50th anniversary season, have been promoted back into the National Leagues with an unbeaten run. But could they add the Scottish Shield as well? Their opponents, coached by Stuart Hogg's older brother Graham and playing fly half, were Greenock Wanderers, who have had a terrific season themselves. And it was Greenock who got off to a good start with a hog penalty and a try by Scott Ballou. But Berwick responded with a try of their own by Jack Dalrymple and a penalty by Andrew Skeen to level it up. A penalty each for Hogg and Skeen made it 11 all before Martin Lavelle put Greenock back in the lead, right on the whistle, with this score. And a further body blow right at the start of the second half. And you have to say this was a class try, one of the best of the season. Brendan McGrorty going route one before offloading to fullback Chris McCarron, who went in to score. McGrorty then got on the score sheet himself with this effort, which took his side out to a 30 points to 11 lead. When Scott Ballou conjured up his second try of the match on the hour, it looked like the shield was heading west because no team would ever come back from 35-11 down with just 18 minutes left on the clock. Well, Berwick hadn't read the script. Gareth Hill, the only player playing who also was in the team in the shield for Berwick 16 years ago, gave a little bit of hope as he raced in at the corner. With five minutes to go, Berwick was still adrift 35-18. Hill scored another, but surely all that did was make the score respectable. Wrong again. On 77 minutes, Ewan Thompson got the touchdown on what was a scrappy-looking try, but the old count, 35-28. Greenock were running the clock down and with seven seconds remaining gave away a penalty. It was Berwick's last chance. They kept the ball alive and headed back upfield. Scott Owen scored, leaving Berwick just two points short with the conversion to come. Up stepped Andrew Skeen at 35 years old. He started his career off at Berwick. He was going to finish it at Berwick. He slotted the kick. It was all level at 35-35. Unbelievable stuff and a further 20 minutes of extra time. Berwick went in front for the first time in the match with a Skeen penalty. Then Ali Greave showed off his football skills with a chip and chase and a try. In the second period of extra time, Jack Dalrymple completed his brace with this interception try and that would take Berwick at least two scores clear and sealed the win. Skeen wrapped things up at the end with a tenth Berwick try and it was job done for Berwick in a breathtaking match. The 50th year, a promotion uh, and, and the shield. But we set out at the beginning of the season to say where we wanted to be and this is where we wanted to be as a group of players. Um, we came a little bit close last year but we knew we had it in us uh, and it's an absolute credit to the club and the, to all the committee who supported us and all this crowd that came up today, absolutely buzzing. Stuart Cameron, ITV News, BT Murrayfield.